All right, you guys, so today we are out fishing on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. And it's just an absolute beautiful day out here. Like, we rarely get days like this where it's this flat, it's this calm. Water temp right now is like 70 degrees. So we're fishing, uh, we're gonna be going right up on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. We've got the first island, second island third and fourth up there. We've got Virginia Beach behind us. Eastern Shore is over there. So right now, yeah, we're like starting to see with that kind of 70 degree water temperature, all of our inshore fish are really starting to kind of like heat up right now. We're getting a lot of redfish, black drum, even getting some flounder. But the tog fishing right now is really kind of at the peak. The tog are spawning and uh, we might even see some birds working a few schools of bait. Okay. That's, a state, that's a state thing, yeah. It is? I just check your life jackets. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, guys. All right, thanks. All right, see ya. Having fun with the boat. I'm so glad I saved this. Dude, those are sweet boats. Dang, dude, that was so awesome. When was the last time you guys been boarded? Yesterday and I got the slip to prove it. We're gonna go through these two. Yeah. Once we do the first one, y'all, this is kind of part of the deal is like, uh, piling hopping. So, that's about good right there. All right, you guys, today we're using a blue crab and it's pretty easy to rig these guys. Uh, you just have their shell right here. I tore off all their claws and all their legs and everything. So all you're gonna do is just grab on to the side of it, to the shell right there. And you're just gonna pull up on it and you're just gonna crack its shell off. Just like that. That's the juice right there. And then all we're gonna do is just cut them in half with some normal pair of kitchen scissors. And then we'll take that and we're gonna cut that in half in the quarter size pieces. Like so. Right here. Yeah, just jerk. Big, look at these school of stingrays right here. There's like five of them. Dang, I just got ganked. Stole all my bait. All right, I'm gonna feed them a little bit. Calling it. There he is. Dude. There we go. Oh yeah. First fish. Let's hope it's a keeper. What size they gotta be? Sixteen. You think so? Close. Yeah, close. That could work. We'll measure them. Lose some weight a little bit. It's like 15. 15 in there. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, right. That's 16 right there. No. No. Dang. You got like half he, a Come on, dude. He's. <laughs> can't we keep him in the live well? That's 15 and a half. Ah. Uh. All right, y'all. First fish of the day. And he's a half an inch short. You are one lucky fish. <sighs> Man, first tog. All right, brother. Live long and prosper. They're like right in here. Did you stay off the bottom or you're on the bottom? Right off of it. Right on the bottom? Like Just two inches off. Yeah. So I like feel the bottom and I'll come up like right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fish. Oh, Jay. Jay's on? Yes, sir. Look at this. Okay. 
Get him on in here. First dog for the oh, Dude. Yeah. That That's is a keeper. That oh, is a keeper son. Day. Nice okay. catch, brother. Thank you, sir. That's 17. That's a male. All right, you guys. Jay right here just got himself on his first keeper tog. I caught one that was a half an inch short, but we got him. That is a, that's a nice fish, dog. Thank you, sir. Dang, that's a nice fish. Get them lips, man. All right, y'all, so we're just out here working these pilings and we're fishing with quarter size blue crab right here. So that's the bait that we're using. John's getting himself rigged up. And, and the water, uh, drained out. oh, it did. Is the plug in? No, <laughs> dude. There's a talk, man. Nice catch, brother. Thank you, sir. You got any more of this stuff? Yeah, I do. Oh, fish on. No way. Yeah, no way. Really? I it was stuck, yeah. I got it. Dang, we're. St it looks like a little. Is he keeper? Maybe. Oh, Dang, dude, that's got to be another one. All right, y'all. Tonight, we about to be catch and cooking on some of the Chesapeake Bay's finest cuisine, because John right here. So Jay hooked up, like, what, two minutes ago? Yes, sir. And then John thought he was stuck, but no, sir. He just had himself a nice little female tog. Ooh. I think she took me in the, in the rock for a second. Yeah. And then she came out. I thought it was stuck. Very nice. That's a fatty. Yeah, that's a fatty. Nice catch, brother. Thanks, brother. Into the log well in. she goes. So what we're doing is we're just letting the bait sit right up off the bottom. And we've got a little eddy right here. Current is pushing out. The tide is. And these togs are just like about to get bit up. So the tog are swimming around these pilings. That's why their meat's so good because they feed on like crustaceans. They feed on a lot of crabs. John just got bit. Getting bit, tore up. Dang. There we go. That's a good one. Oh yeah. That's a real good one. I almost like ripped the pole out of my hands. I hope he's good. Oh, oh big yeah, up first. You think so? Yeah. Nice. Woo! Nice net job. Look <laughs> at John holding the pole and netting. Finally, my and first, my first keeper. Radio, bro. That's right. <laughs> Look at that fatty. Dang. That is a nice one. Put one on the bottom. All right, y'all. That's my first keeper tog of the day. That's a female, but that's also going to be dinner. All right, y'all. So today we had a I'd say that we had a successful day. Let's see what we got. That is... Oh yeah, is that yours, Chad? Huh? This that one. Yours? Yeah. Look at that. that, the row is ready to come out. That's row. This one's still alive. Hey, wait, we got the grandpa, the biggest one. The very first one we caught. There you go, right there. Stuck <laughs> off the, boat. the biggest. That is hilarious. Here. Are yeah. you going to keep it in here or you want me to pull the plug out? Uh, we'll probably transfer them when we drop off the boat. Okay. So see. you can just keep it here, like that. Here's how to make it look bigger. Uh, yeah, right. Got to hide that the yeah. arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. hilarious. That looks like a baby tarpon. Yeah, it's a baby tarpon. Look at that. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright y'all, so here we are back up in my house and we... Here's our fish that we caught today. Yeah. On the fillet table right here. So uh, we caught a little blue fish and caught two of our tog right here. That the tog is actually what we're gonna do. That's the focus of the video today. So I'm gonna show y'all how to fillet a tog and we're gonna do a little review on the taste of it and everything. But we actually caught these tog right 
out there. So that's the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. That's the first island. That's the second island. And anyways, we call it way out there. So we're gonna go ahead and... One thing that I w actually I wanted to show you guys on these togs is that you have to legit set the hook on these togs because their mouths are so hard it is ridiculous like you put your like finger in here to feel what it would feel like like if you're setting the hook on these fish and it's just straight up bone so these fish are actually like using these teeth right here to kind of like chew down on crabs and other crustaceans that they eat so when you guys catch these things like you absolutely have to set the hook because inside of there is just straight up bone no give at all a lot of times people will catch tog when they hook them through the lip right here but when you like when you hook them like right through the top of the mouth like you legit have to like you have to set that hook like absolutely as hard as you can all right y'all so here it goes this is our tog catch clean and cook and i'm actually uh john is going to be doing the cleaning yeah these fish today i'm just going to gut it first okay oh geez do you do this and then some uh, some of your fish sometimes oh there it goes there we go Cool. Less mess, you know? Yeah. All right, y'all. So the first thing that John did is gutted the fish. Just make a shallow cut first. So usually you just hit like the cut right there on the back? Yeah. Just real shallow. Then once you get in there, you can come, come in and just follow the spine. Right. With that. To get as much meat off of that backbone as you can. So the first cut John did was right across, right here Toward behind the, head. the yeah pectoral fin, and then he just hit one, kind of working the blade through the top of the fish. And this fillet is coming out rather nicely. One thing that makes the tog fillet a little challenging is that backbone. Good looking fillet right there. It's pretty nice looking fillet job too. Like that, the backbone, like right here. That's tough. We, and that right there is how to fillet a tog. Yeah. Not too much meat left on the bone. Yeah. Next step, I'm gonna take the skin off the off the meat. Actually, didn't. Yeah. Now we can remove the red bones. Right. So there's pin bones right there. That's the pin bone? Mm hmm. You just feel it with your finger. Right. That's it. So how are you removing the pin bones? So you just feel for them right here? Uh-huh. Like you run your, your hand down the fillet like this. Yeah. You can feel where it is. Uh, there's a line of bones right there. Yeah. So I just put the knife on one side of those bones and go down. Uh-huh. Still feel them right there. Yeah. Just put it right on the other side. Right on the other side. They're kind of angled up a little bit, up on the fillet. That's it? That's it. Oh, right Wanna there. see something crazy? Eat it. Sushi? <laughs> That's what I want to do for real is tog sushi. Not bad. Try that one. Alright. Here it is. Tog sushi. Hmm. Dude. It's 
good. Not fishy at all. No. All right, y'all, so there it is. We had an awesome time out on the Chesapeake Bay. Caught some nice keeper tog, went out there and accomplished the mission. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys live in an area where there's tog, blackfish, whatever the heck you call them, I highly recommend that y'all get out there and catch them. Um, and they're pretty difficult to catch. They're pretty difficult to fillet. Hopefully this video helped y'all out. All right, y'all, so I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cook this fish. I'm gonna give it a taste test and I'll check it y'all later. All right, you guys, so Christy just had to head out, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna continue this catch and cook. I'm gonna film myself and I just wanna show you guys how I season this fish. Wanted to keep it pretty simple. Um, and I'm only just cooking up one filet because I'm just gonna eat it and I really want to taste test this tog. People have told me that tog is some of their favorite fish. Um, a lot of these kind of old timers on the Chesapeake Bay, they say it's their absolute favorite fish in the ocean. So pretty stoked on it. Kept it pretty simple. Um, I just went uh, pepper, garlic. So I did, let's see, salt, pepper, garlic. That's all I did. Uh, I squeezed a little bit of this kind of cheesy lemon juice on there. Didn't even have a lemon for me to cut up and, and squeeze on there. But that's how I seasoned it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cook it. It looks awesome. And I got my oven preheated to 425. Go ahead and throw it in the oven and probably going to give it, I don't know, six seven eight minutes i'm gonna go ahead check it out give it a taste test all right you guys so it's been about seven eight minutes and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna check out the tog let's check out our fish fillet that looks looks about ready dang almost looks like so some of the people that we were talking to said it's like similar to like they said it's like a, almost like a scallop like look how white that meat is right there Look how white that meat is. Dang, that looks really, really good. First taste test of tog. And that's pretty dang good. Uh, it really is like the same kind of texture and I don't know, it's very similar to like eating scallop. I might rank tog above flounder. So if I had to rank, probably be tog, flounder, sheep's head, Spanish mackerel, probably like my top four. But you know, tog, they eat fiddler crabs, blue crabs, a lot of crustaceans. So you're gonna get that really kind of white flaky meat. Um, Pretty hard to catch and pretty hard to fillet as well. All right, y'all, so there it is. This is our little catch and cook on TOG. Highly recommend that y'all get out there. You just wanna look for um, structure, uh, pilings. It's really the same fishing as sheep's head fishing. So if you guys have TOG in your fishery and you really like sheep's head fishing uh, or even like bridge piling fishing, jetty fishing, I would highly recommend that you give Tog a shot. Cause dang, this meat tastes amazing. I mean, legit tastes just like eating scallops. So anyways, thank you all for watching. All right, you guys, that's all I got. And peace out.